Hello friends. Welcome to another practice question of uh, linear equations. This is the 123rd question in the series. I will strongly urge you to go back and watch the previous 122 as well. This question is from the NCRT textbook. Uh, let's start solving this one. The two questions given here are the two equations. Sorry, given here are slightly big and uh, slightly irritating and i have to have to substitute here to make them more manageable okay so the substitution is very simple one upon three x plus y is there in both the sides so i will have one upon three x plus y as a and uh, one upon three x minus y uh, is also on both the sides so i will have that as b the moment i do that this equation becomes uh, let me switch off my pen Yes, so 1 upon 3x plus y, let me substitute that as a, and 1 upon 3x minus y, let me substitute that as b. The moment I do that, the equations become a plus b is equal to 3 upon 4, uh, and here it becomes a by 2 plus, sorry, this is minus of b by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8. So the 2 can be taken across from everywhere and it will become 4. Okay. Now the two questions are, two equations are a plus b is equal to 3 upon 4. And a minus b is equal to minus of 1 upon 4. Okay. Now add, let's add the two equations on adding the two equations i get 2a is equal to 2 upon 4 this get cancelled and a becomes equal to 1 upon 4 if a is equal to 1 upon 4 let me put that over here in the first part okay here so it becomes 1 upon 4 plus b is equal to 3 upon 4 and uh, b will be equal to 3 minus 1 upon 4 that is equal to 2 upon 4 so b will be equal to half now i have the value of a and i have the value of b but i will still get the value of uh, a and b in terms of x and y so i know that 1 upon 3x plus y is equal to 1 upon 4 because this is what I substituted this implies 3x plus y is equal to 4 simply by cross multiplication similarly I have uh, 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to half and this will mean 3x minus y is equal to 2 again by cross multiplication now I have to solve so it in, remember this was my equation 1 given this was my equation 2 given I reduced 1 and 2 to 3 and 4 I tried solving 3 and 4 to get the value of a and b which I got here and then equation 3 and 4 gave me two equations in x and y which is my equation 5 and this is my equation 6 now adding 5 and 6 I get 6x is equal to 6 which implies x is equal to 1 and uh, if I put x is equal to 1 in equation 5 I get 3 into 1 plus y is equal to 4 which implies that y is equal to 1 as well okay so x is equal to y x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 which means x equal to y equal to 1 is the solution to this set of equations i hope you found the solution useful do like share comment and subscribe and in case you want me to solve any other question for you do shoot your questions at the whatsapp number mentioned in the description till then keep working hard keep practicing hard cheers and god bless